hi in this video you will see how we can add our lift income to TurboTax and file our tax return very easily if you want to import or add your uber income into TurboTax then you can check the other video I in my channel you will find that and if you want to clean your TurboTax uh, like history or if you want to start from the beginning you can also find other video in my channel but in this video I will show you how you can add the lift income in TurboTax once you log in the TurboTax account you will find this type of page and from here we have to choose I am self-employed or an independent contractor this option once we find there we can click there and then we can press the continue button to go to the next step and if you don't find then you can also do other way that on I will show you uh, very shortly so once we are in this space we have to choose this option and then we have to hit the continue button once we hit continue button it will ask how comfortable do you feel doing your own taxes you can choose anyone I'm choosing the first one and then I'm going to press this continue button once we press this continue button then it will give us option which TurboTax is required for us for me it is suggesting this one and it is the cheapest one 71 20 dollar and there is other two options but I am not going to use those because I will do by myself it is very simple and easy so I am going to click start for free once I click start for free then once we choose this option TurboTax will be configured for our own need it will take some time generally it takes 30 seconds to 1 minute for me it is taking like 30 seconds to load or to initialize everything actually it is customizing uh, TurboTax or making ready for us so once the page is loaded then we'll find this your page we need a few details and there is a estimated time how long it might take but you can ignore it we don't need that much time so we can press the continue button and there is another button let's go so basically we need to put our information first that's why we have to press here and then it will bring us this top page personal information here we have to type our first name last name date of birth and some other information like occupation and the address where we are living I'm not going to go there uh, it is very simple as you can uh, actually fill up by yourself just click federal and then you will find wages and income section so under federal the wages and income section is there uh, we need to import our lift that's why I'm going to click wages and income and then will bring it will bring basically this top page here we have to press this button add my income once we press there then it will bring this type of thing let's find other income so if you make money by interest then you can choose this one these options are customized for you but I don't have anything so I'm choosing no and there are other options I mean other questions did uh, did you withdraw money from your retirement plan no I didn't do anything for your case you have to answer by yourself uh, did you get uh, dividends no this is for my case uh, did you have more investment losses than gains in period years no and did you own or control a foreign bank account no so basically I don't use this thing and then there is continue button press the continue button and then it will bring us this type of thing self employment income and expenses so this is the desired section where we can put our tax information that means uh, our income or expenses for lift so uh, we have to choose this option and there is a button start button on the right side if we press start button then it will start uh, it will give us this option okay then you have to mention did you have any self-employment income or expenses so here it is showing like freelancing then uber task rabbit or doordash or home base income small home base income all these are in this category and it's showing like that if we have then we have to press yes because we are using lift to make some income i mean lift driving okay then we are going to press this yes button once we press this yes button then we will be reached to the next page where again it will ask another question the question is tell us the type of self-employment work you do so we have to type the self-employment or here we have to type uh, the uh, other like uh, whether this is ride share driving or something like that so uber 
or lift these are right shared driving that's why i'm putting right shared driving once we type right shared driving now it's time to press the continue button so i'm going to press this continue button and it is bringing this page okay how does your right shared driving work fit into your big picture it's a side job for me but if you do full time then you can choose the other option uh, you can choose the other option based on your own need tell us about how long you have worked right, uh, in right shared driving if you start from last year then you can choose the first one uh, if you don't drive anymore then you can choose the second one or if you fall neither of this category then you have to choose this one i am on the last category that's why i am choosing this option and then we need to press this continue button once the continue button is pressed it is asking another question did you make these payments for ride share driving or i uh, i did you make these payments for ride share driving or yes i made at least one of these payments no we didn't basically and that's why i'm putting the no no option okay tell us if any of this less common situation apply to this work for me the last option is applicable none of this so i'm choosing the, that and then continue button and then i once we press continue button it is giving me uh, your right share driving information is a general inform information it is giving us uh, like this so basically we don't need to do anything of this form but if you want you can actually choose the other options whatever it is typing over there but we don't need to do anything over there and then basically once we complete this we have to press uh, this button looks good so i'm going to press this looks good uh, this button and it will uh, bring to the next page and once it's being next page it is asking if you got paid through square no i didn't get paid through square so i don't want to use this option so for me there is two button right import my info and skip this this is not applicable so i have to click skip this once we click and uh, click basically skip this then it will bring next page now here it is showing two options uber or lyft as we are going to uh, import the income of lift then we have to choose lift and then uh, we have to choose the button continue so i'm going to hit continue button and so on uh, once i hit the continue button it is showing let's save time like that uh, basically it will integrate both so i'm pressing the ok button and here it is showing let's import your tax uh, information from lift to turbo tax so here we have to choose get my form once i click get my form then the lift login panel will be appeared here we just need to put our lift account information to login so i'm putting my phone number over here and once i type my phone number then we have to uh, connect with my phone so i'm going to press continue with phone and then it will give us a six digit code on my phone then we have to type it over here so i'm waiting for the text and once i get the text then basically i will put it over there to login uh, the lift so till now i didn't uh, get uh, the code so still i am waiting it will take like 10 seconds to 30 seconds to get the code and once i get the code uh, then only i can access my account so still i am waiting so for your case you, you might get earlier now i got and i am typing that number uh, that is six digit code right so i am typing the three digit and other three digit uh, okay okay uh, yes i found it so this is the six digit code i typed and then it is asking to verify my identity identity so it is asking driver's license number so i just need to type uh, the driver license number uh, from my uh, driving license card so basically here you have to put your own driving license uh, this is the leave verification policy or identification policy to do this thing so i'm going to type uh, that information over here and once i type that information then we can only go uh, to the lift account and TurboTax can pull all the data from there so i'm going to press next button and then it is showing connect with lift so here it is showing like uh, to ask, ask permission so i have to press this accept button to actually grant the permission so that TurboTax can connect with lift account and then it can pull all the data from lift to TurboTax and now here it is showing like that uh, it's connected success we got your information from lift okay now we just need to press the continue button i'm going to press continue button and then uh, it is showing here uh, here is the right share driving income so far we have okay uh, 
uh, this this income I made uh, using lift and then do you have more self employment I don't have anything so I'm going to press no and then continue and once I hit continue button it will bring this page like uh, find 30% it's not required basically I am going to click here connect my account or type my expenses I will type all my expenses so basically uh, I will use uh, I'll actually I keep track all my expenses so I just need to uh, track it uh, keep my expenses by this so here it is asking another option so for me basically none of the options is fitted for me so I'm going to press this skip button but you will read and if anything is matches with you you can do this thing now uh, we have to add the expenses I'm going to click press this get started this button and it will show us uh, all the expenses which we can actually add so here there are different categories of expenses uh, we have to choose uh, whatever we need like supplies if we expand it it will show us like cell phone accessories refresh uh, refreshment for customers other supplies car cleaning supplies like this suppose I am using car cleaning then uh, supplies so basically we just need to uh, check these boxes and then vehicle if we expand then we will find that uh, what are the expenses I added I can add basically here mileage I can add gas I can add parking fee many things really I, I can add so I can choose any of them based on our, our my requirement basically and there are some other things like communication over there you can add the phone lines or something like that then once you add all the expenses I mean once you uh, click these check boxes basically we can do this thing so here communication cell phone service internet service we are seeing like second phone line long distance call so many things is there so I think I can choose this option so I'm going to click here uh, to check this thing and then we have to scroll down you can choose the other options if you it, it matches with you so I'm going to press this continue button and once I press this continue button it will show us everything basically uh, everything means basically it will show all the list of expenses or income everything on a single page it will take some some time like 10 seconds to 30 seconds uh, to complete this thing basically it is doing some calculation in the back end so basically that's why it is taking some time and once uh, it is successful then it is showing did you have rent a vehicle or other equipment for our work no I didn't so I am choosing no this option but for your case you have to choose your own option uh, did you make any major purchase of your work no I didn't so I am going to press this thing no and did you pay taxes or license fees for your work no I didn't basically that's why we have to choose no and then the last button is keep going so I'm going to press this button and now it is showing all the expense category whatever we add and if you want to add any other category you can also do this thing so here we seeing here we are seeing the vehicle uh, we can add our mileage over there so I'm going to press this thing vehicle and the number of miles uh, which I drove I can actually initialize here you will use the car or track for your shared driving or yes I did so I have to choose the yes button and then only we can go to this page basically let's get some information about this vehicle so here we have to put our vehicle information I mean vehicle make and model and once we write vehicle make model then we have to choose uh, type of vehicle this is under 6000 pounds so I'm choosing that and it's asking from when I start using this vehicle for my work so basically I started from January 1st of last year that's why I type in January 1st 2023 and then we have to hit continue button once we hit continue button it will ask tell us about the owner of this Honda I am the owner that's why I choose the first option was the Honda Accord available for personal use uh, no I didn't use uh, did you have any other vehicle for personal use yes I have if you don't have you can choose no okay so basically these options uh, basically you have to answer this option based on your own need I have another vehicle for my personal that's why I choose this option and then I'm going to press this continue button to go to the next page basically did you keep track of the miles yes I did that's why I'm choosing this option if you don't uh, then you can choose the other option and then how do you want to enter your miles for this home record so here there are two fields one is the total mileage that I drove and another is the total mileage uh, I drove for my job 
but as I told you earlier that I have only uh, I don't have actually I have multiple car right so one car is for my business and another car is for my personal use that's why here I am putting all the information for my business car only suppose I drove 110 miles okay uh, total of that car uh, it's a dummy number it's not the actual number I'm just showing you how you can complete that thing and here out of 110 actually I drove 110 uh, because this is my business car I use it for my business that's why I am putting uh, both of the fields are same but if you use uh, the same car uh, then you have to put different information over there okay read this line uh, enter uh, total miles you drove for any reason in 2023 okay and this is a uh, miles that you drove just for uh, like right share driving uh, work okay so now we have to press this continue button once we press the continue button it is asking or for or other vehicles also use no so basically i'm pressing continue button after selecting and then it is showing uh, this is the standard mileage duration and then the other one actual expenses the standard duration is fine i'm going to choose this option and then i have to hit continue button once i hit continue button then it will ask this type of thing before we wrap up did we have any other expenses i don't have this really if you have you can add those things and then press continue button and again continue button and you will see all the information is noted over there uh, do you want to claim another vehicle no i don't want because that is my personal car and this is for my business so i choose this option no i don't have added all the vehicles i drove for this work okay that's fine and then there is a continue button again we need to press this continue button to go to the next uh, page basically so i'm going to hit uh, this continue button and once i hit the continue button uh, again it will take some time uh, and it is showing the expense category like vehicle communication supplies other miscellaneous expenses so many things so for we can uh, for we have to actually add all the information like communication uh, vehicle actually we already added so now uh, let's uh, open supplies supplies so here we can actually mention like uh, what we did uh, uh, use for our uh, like right shared business basically like car cleaning or some uh, something like that car cleaning supplies okay we uh, we actually took our car like two times that's why i put 30 dollar so car cleaning supplies like 30 dollar all together and then there is another one communication so vehicle we completed supplies we completed other miscellaneous completed only one part is remaining uh, communication so just press the start button and then it will bring us this thing enter uh, your communication experiences so uh, i may have like second phone uh, like for lift other phone for uh, like uber like that way actually we can put our phone information like this is secondary phone and this is the for the business that's why i'm putting uh, that thing and this phone i'm using like internet and some little phone calls that's why i'm typing some other uh, information like uh, description section i'm typing like cellular or what can i type cell phone uh, plan that is fine actually and uh, suppose the total plan is like hundred dollar or hundred fifty dollar fifteen something is fine okay so whatever the value uh, you actually spend you have to type that amount in this field and once we type uh, this field basically for cell phone plan uh, i type like thirty dollar and then continue you will type your own uh, expense over there okay now i'm seeing that uh, every expense is added and every income is also added and um, so there are some other forms basically we don't need and then we can hit the continue button and once we hit the continue button then it is asking do you have any other uh, business situation uh, no i don't have then continue and then it is asking another question uh, nice you have lowered your tax income okay now your expense for right share driving okay fine and then is there any button yes there is a button we just need to press this continue button once we press this continue button it will go to the next page and here it is asking how much your ride share driving or took place within the united states i drove only united states of america that's why i'm choosing the first option and then i press continue was any of your ride share driving no so that's why i choose none uh, do you have definition of ride share driving no this doesn't apply because i don't have like that type of thing and then finally now let's double check everything i'm going to uh, press run my check something like that and then it is checking the audit factor low and then i'm going to press this continue button 
once we press this continue button it will show all the expenses everything over there sell employment ex uh, income and expenses over there okay so in this way basically we can add the lift uh, income uh, basically in turbo tax and start uh, like filling out tax return so guys uh, this way we use lift and turbo tax all together to calculate to do any calculation i mean the original uh, actual uh, correct correction uh, calculation for our tax filing if you drove, uh, drive or drove uh, Uber for your living or if you have some income through Uber, you can also do the same way. Uh, I have another video in my channel uh, for Uber. Uh, that video is dedicated for Uber. Uh, you can check that video if you want. Otherwise, you can ignore it. The other thing I mentioned, suppose you are driving like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, GrabHub and so many things. So for that case, how we can actually I go uh, do i need to start from the beginning or how so basically for that case basically we have to go uh, this self employment income and expenses this section and then there is a button like edit or add we just need to go there and once we click the edit and button then it will show us a uh, different type of page different means basically like this type of page so here i just completed the lift uh, but one thing i mentioned earlier that you can also add other tax, other writing information or tax also like this. Suppose here you are seeing two tax uh, bracket. One is for Uber, another is Lyft. The first one is Uber and the last one is for Lyft. Okay, same way we have to add. So there is a button like add another line of work at the bottom of this page. Basically, if we click here, then it will add like that way. So if you are driving like DoorDash, you can also click add another line of work and then you can do uh, we do uh, all the steps which i showed you for this case for this tutorial you can also do this thing and also for other case also so in this way basically you can add all the information and one other thing uh, here you are seeing a couple of uh, figures so these figures are not accurate these are used as a calculation or to show you the example okay the real uh, figure is completely different uh, don't uh, panic that why this is coming minus or plus something like that uh, minus means this is the deduction okay and plus means this is the income so you can deduct that amount from your income that's why there's minus and if you make any make income then that is uh, like positive so guys in this way basically we can easily you know, file our tax return and we can also integrate uh, the lift uh, account with our turbo tax which will make our life simple uh, to start filing our tax Thank you guys for watching the video if you have any question or if you uh, like if you need any help you can put in the comment section uh, that's it guys and thank you for watching the video